Welcome to this video where I will be discussing and showing how to change the color of a button once it is clicked. To start off, we're going to create our button. So click on canvas, we can right click from there, UI, and button. I'm going to leave the button color as white for now, but we are going to change that later on. Create another script, if you haven't done that already. Right click, create, C sharp script. In my case, I've already done it. So let's take a look at the code. Now before we start coding, make sure to import the library unityengine.ui. So if you recall earlier when we created the button canvas, we went down to UI. So we're going to be importing that library in order for us to change features of the button. So now we're going to create a public variable called well, I'm going to create it wanted color. So this is going to be the color that we want to change our button to. And then we're going to create another public variable called button. So basically these two variables allow us to adjust the color and allow us to select what button we want to change later on. We're going to be allowed to do that in the inspector of canvas once we attach the script. Now we are going to create a method I called it change bun color. You can call it whatever you want. And this is what we're going to attach to the button so that the button knows what to do essentially. So let's take a look at this code. CB, name that you could, any name you can use. Colorbox is part of Unity Engine UI, as you can see. That's why we also had to do that. Button, if you look, that's going to be the same name as this because we are changing the colors of the specific button which we will identify later. And then now you'll see we are changing the normal color, highlighted color, and pressed color. Now why these colors? Now if we take a look at our button, we'll see that there's a normal color, a highlighted color, and a pressed color. So these are the colors that we want to change in order for us to get our wanted color. In this case now everything's white and we want to change it to our wanted color, which we will set later. And then at the end, we have to make sure to set CB, what we just changed, back to button colors. So if we save our script, you can also go file, save, just save that. We can go back to Unity. Now we have to attach our script to the canvas. And as you can see, we have our wanted color variable here and our button. So we can do any color. I'm going to select maybe something red. And now one very important thing. And if you look here, if we look at this A, we see that it's at the value zero. And this means that the transparency is set to zero. So you won't be getting any of your colors. So make sure to turn that up. See, we have 255 here. And if you look here, you may have noticed that as I moved up the transparency, move it down, it goes from a black to a white line. So if you see a black line, that means that your transparency is at zero, and make sure to turn it up. Now we're going to select the button we want. So we just created that button, all we have to do is drag the game object, or we can click this little dot right here, and then it will be listed and double click for our button. Now we have to assign this method that we created before to our button. So we're going to click button. And as you can see on click, there are no commands that the button is supposed to do right now. List is empty. So we have to change that. Uh, no object. However, we just assigned our script in scene to the canvas. And no function. We're going to find the name of our script, which as you can see here, I called it button color change. And then we are going to find the name of our method, which was change button color. Now all we have to do, click play, and our button changes color to the red, which was our wanted color. Thank you for watching this video. I hope that you can implement this button color changing into your own project.